Okay. Oh, his hair. I, is it cute? I can't decide. Hi guys, it's Gigi. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be jumping into a makeup tutorial that I'm honestly scared about. So I've been seeing a lot of graphic liner all over Instagram and TikTok and just beautiful, sharp, clean graphic liner. So I would love to give credit to a makeup artist or some look that I've seen, but literally all of these are gonna be a, what's the word? Like conjunction, combination? Cluster fuck of looks that I've seen from social media. My one thing though that I want to get across is neon. So I'm gonna be diving into these beautiful little neon shadows, I guess, from Hank and Henry a little bit later. But yeah, let's get into it. So first things first, I'm going to prime my face. So I'm gonna be using this Huda Beauty Huda Butta Water Jelly. And usually I'm a matte girl, but since I'm trying out graphic liner today, let's just go for gold. Yeah, so just rub that in all over. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the JLo Glow. This is JLo Beauty's That Star that star filter in pink champagne. I never really do like glow underneath my foundation because I usually like to keep the texture matte and poreless, but we shall see. So for foundation, I'm gonna try something new as well. This is the new Morphe Filter Effect Foundation. They sent me a few shades, but this is in shade light, filter light eight. Um, and it was like the closest one and I'm not spray tanned right now at all, so it should be cute. Oh, is this too tan? Oh. Also, this brush by Morphe is like the biggest, oh, is that sponge? <laughs> that is not correct. It's like the biggest sponge ever. I really feel like it's making my life a lot easier. Okay, so moving on, I'm gonna do a little Tarte Shape Tape on my little desired areas. So I've been seeing your guys' comments and yes, I got a lip lift. A lot of people were like, what is different with your face? Like you look super, super different in this video or in this photo or whatever. It was just something that I wanted to get done and I really didn't think would make me look that drastically different. But yeah, after I got my lip filler dissolved, I was kind of like, I feel like it's like too much space there. And I saw like a few people get lip lifts like in my real life and I was like, you look so gorge and like just lifted and cute and young. And I was like, I am kind of down. I just booked the appointment and did it. And then I wasn't really thinking about talking about it because I was like, it's just like a little one two, but it's done now and yeah, I love it. All right, now I'm gonna warm up my face with the Stop Barnes Bronze Palette or Contour Palette. I use it every day, so it's so dirty, but it's just the best. Hi, Jay. Oh my God, he looks huge. Poor guy. He's going on a diet soon. Okay, now I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit just with that same palette. Oh, excuse me. Disgusting! Okay, so I have my base on, but I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and do a little baking, and I'll be back in three, two, one. All right, so now that I have the complete base on, now is the real scary part. Let's start on the eyes and get this graphic liner into motion. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna prime my lid at all. I'm gonna go in with the About Face Eye Paint a new product from Halsey and I've yet to use it. I've used the lips a bunch of times, but I'm just not that much of like a cream girl. Like I just really never like dive into creams, but I thought this would be a fun base. It's a little bit darker, I assume, than my skin tone. Yeah, it could be just like a fun little moment. I'm also like stalling because I don't really want to do the graphic liner. I'm like, what if I fuck up and this video is trash? I love this brush so much. I feel like I use it literally almost every day. It's just so fluffy and round. It just literally does the trick. It like almost blends for you. So these are what I'm gonna be using to get that graphic liner moment. I don't know the shape I wanna do, but I've seen a few like 
flame moments, and I feel like that's really cute. So, yeah. So you wet it, and then it kind of comes to life. So I'm just gonna take this Benefit Professional Spray and wet it. Oh, this is gonna look cute if I do good. Okay, I'm not mad at that. Okay, so the yellow's down on the top, but I feel like I'm gonna do a little underneath as well. But while we're painting over Halsey, I thought that I would just tell you how excited I was when I got her PR. I was gagging. I was like, oh my God, the amount of products, what she launched, I feel like it's not very you know, traditional for people to do like cream products and no powder and stuff like that. And I just thought it was really cool. I've been a fan of her for so long. She's really nice for anybody wondering. I feel like people have like these like celeb nightmare interactions, but she's very sweet in real life. And my friend actually has a now or never tattoo on her arm. And we were at this place in West Hollywood called Delilah's. Is it Delilah or Delilah's? Delilah. Delilah. Pre-COVID. <sighs> Bless the days. Yeah, we were shoulder to shoulder with people. Everyone was like smoking and had their drinks and stuff. And I was like, oh my God, there's Halsey. So we like literally go over, just say, hey, and she knows Nats, like they go way back, I guess you could say. Do they go way back? Well, he <laughs> a jacket for her. Right, oh yeah, 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 he made a jacket for her. I was like, I'm just gonna literally put my friend Hill on blast and just tell Halsey that she has a now or never tattoo. <laughs> I literally just brought it up shamelessly and Hillary looked at me. She was like, I was mute. Girl, don't, don't do that. Like, why did you just do that? Um, I don't know if I want to do, I'm going to do a little on the inner corner. I'm going to clean the brush and we're going to go in with an orange. This is literally the exact same product just in, it's called Obscure Drip Liner. <laughs> what am I doing? Is that cute? I can't tell. <laughs> am I an artist? What is going on? Okay, be right back. I have to get COVID tested. Thank you. Back to my tutorial. Okay, I'm gonna keep this like to a minimal on the bottom because I feel like it's getting very Cirque du Soleil and that is not the vibe I want to go for. Uh, you know what? Okay, so it's been so long since I've done like a full sit down makeup tutorial and I'll be 100% honest, I like lost inspo. Like I full wasn't like, I want to do this, I want to do that. I was like stuck in a rut. I feel like I had like makeup block and like tutorial block. Like I literally recently just posted like an IGTV doing clip and hair extensions and I feel like it's just like fun again, you know? Okay, so I feel like it needs a little more pink. Just the lash line is like not enough. So I feel like I'm gonna add a little like flick where the yellow is and maybe on the inside as well. I don't know, let me see. Okay, I'm gonna add some white now for a little dimension. I saw Halsey's makeup tutorial and I was a little inspired. So I'm gonna be taking this shade, which is White Noise. Okay, so I think I'm gonna settle down here and just leave the graphic liner that I've done and pop on some lashes. And I actually have an amazing lash find that I've been holding onto for so long. There are these random lashes from Amazon. They come in a package like this. And I think this whole set is like $6 or something like that. I was Amazoning millimeters of lashes because that's what my friend does. And he told me like the longest lashes, like drag queens do that to get like the longest effect. And these are faux mink lashes, which I feel really good about because they're faux mink. And look how spiky they are. They're very like Lily, Lily lashes, like Miami. It just gives you that nice, like bright open look. And I've been using them so much. If you're looking for an alternative, I definitely recommend those lashes. They're so good and I feel like they just open up any eye. I'm also kind of second thinking this beauty mark now. <laughs> okay, so the lashes are on and although there's like a little bleedage going on down here with the graphic liner, I'm kind of happy with how it turned out. 
I'm gonna do my lips now. I'm gonna line them with this Givenchy Crayon Lip Liner in 10 Beige. Um, it's one of my favorites. It's a really good nude. And yeah, I'm just really like, this is actually insane that this is going on on my face right now. I like, I'm quite proud of myself. Even though it is not the cleanest, it was my attempt at graphic liner. All right, and last but not least, I'm gonna go in with this Rinna Beauty Lip Gloss. Shout out to Lisa Rinna. I'm obsessed with your lip products. She's dangerous, if you ask me. Flat out dangerous. Okay, and with one spray, oh, this is like leaking, of Professional from Benefit Super Setter. Sounds like super spreader. I'm gonna set my face. And with that, we are done. All right, guys, so that was all for today's tutorial. Definitely let me know how I did on the graphic liner. This definitely was a little journey, um, but I'm really happy with the end result and I'm definitely gonna try it again soon. Let me know any other tutorials that you would like to see me try, looks inspired by, something completely different, any products you want me to review, and until I see you guys in my next video, stay gorgeous.